Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm an Auburn University graduate, so this is really special for me. But Clint is number 15 on our Auburn uh, team. We're very proud of him. We're so excited about this opportunity. And overall, he, just talking to him for a few minutes here, he's such a nice, polite fellow. Somebody to represent our state and Auburn University. And of course now, he represents Jemison Elementary School because we got relatives in our school. So it's such a nice fellow to do that. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Clint Mosley. <laughs>
uh, you know, down the road in life, and, uh, and it'll just really, really make your, your parents proud of you. So uh, that's all I've got as far as my message. I guess uh, what I'm reading the book now. <laughs> story of why it's called War Eagle? Does anybody actually know? That's a true testament all the time. Does anybody really know why it's called War Eagle? Okay, you know. We got a few. We got a few. Okay. Well, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure this is probably what it is. Exactly how it was. All right. Once upon a time, a long time ago, the Auburn Tigers took the field to face a fearsome foe. In the stands were the Auburn faithful not just from Alabama. Some came in suits, some came in skirts, some even wore pajamas. It was not a great day. The boys were not on their game. The crowd was not happy. They were calling their name. Come on, Tigers, do something. By these guys, we can't be beat. How awful, how embarrassing to face this defeat. In the crowd that day sat an old man and his bird. In the big war of the states, he fought, so they heard. He, fought an e he found an eagle when young in the aftermath of a battle. The nest was blown from a rock and hit the ground with a rattle. He nursed the brave bird and saw him grow stronger, but the battle waged on, seeming longer and longer. The man grew more weary, but his bird would soon take wing. His bird had a mission or some sort of thing. One day all seemed lost on both sides of the fight, when upward soared the eagle, and the men stopped to admire the sight. What strength, what grace, what magnificent power. It filled the soldiers with awe in their most desperate hour. This man would live on for many more years, and now he had grown very old. His bird on his shoulder sat silently. No more did he soar so bold. The soldier sat next to a bright little girl. He asked her, what is your name? All be Lou, she answered, her face turning from the game. Where'd you get your bird? asked the girl. In the war, my dear, but he's old, and his wings no longer unfurled. But all their small talk ended, and they both grew quiet and sad. They turned to look upon a field. The score was so very bad. They watched their team struggle and fight. The boys tried, but lost yard after yard. When suddenly, up from the stands rose the eagle. Higher and higher he flew, and so far. He soared, he swooped, he screeched his eagerly sound. The fans gazed up and wondered, what in the world had he found? That crazy bird, called one fan, look out below, laughed and called fan too. But she watched him circle the, and felt the pride, that little Albie Lou. She felt his spirit and strength. She saw him brave and true. She looked at the boys on the team and knew just what to do. She lifted her voice, first small and low, War Eagle, then louder and louder as a cry, as a crow seemed to know. She pointed skyward and cried, War Eagle! Come on, y'all, she called as she ran. I know you can do it, you're Tiger fans. The spirit, the pride, you have it, just try. Then they all joined in with the most deafening cry. I probably don't need to tell you the rest on those awesome Tigers went to prove they're the best. They beat the other guys, not by 10, but by 50. And everyone there thought that that was rather nifty. Well, the, the eagle, eagle soared one final time around, then halted midair and crashed toward the ground. A gasp went up from the crowd from the team. Their war eagle down. What could it mean? Hushed, they watched as the eagle seemed to fade. Augurlou gently lifted him, then shouted, It's okay, he just needed some lemonade. <laughs> okay. Once again, he flew skyward as a spirited cheer arose. It was on that day so many years ago, an eagle and his loyal friends gave us what we know. As Auburn pride, that winning tiger spirit, and that's our story, and we're sticking to it. And that is, uh, that is the poor eagle's story. Um, <laughs> Like, you know, what does War Eagle mean? You know, that 
I'm kind of make fun of it. What did you say? Well, uh, I'm actually going to say um, it, it was against Georgia and we were losing. They do every night. And the old guy had. What? They do every night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> All right, we'll throw you off a bit. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, we're playing Georgia, and we're losing. And uh, this old man, this old war vet, had a bird. Um, like you, a little bit of that was true. He had a bird, and it just started flying. And for some reason, the crowd went crazy and uh, started screaming "War Eagle" because you know they knew the guy was. Uh, uh, you know, war vet, and uh, I mean, that's kind of where it stuck, and here we are, 2012, and it's still, you know, one of the best uh, traditions that we have, and it's, uh, you know, I hadn't obviously seen it since I've been at Auburn, I don't get to see it, I'm in the locker room then, but uh, I mean, I know it's still one of the biggest things as far as like recruiting and just the tradition of Auburn, but, you know, I just want to thank you guys for, for having me here today. Uh, huh? Any questions? Yeah, okay. Well, now I'll just, uh, anybody got any questions? <laughs> um, cover the agenda with the book. That's what happened.